All right, in this video, we're going to go over 3.2.2, which is connecting the slope ratios to specific angles. And here's the essential question in case you haven't written it down again. Um, and what we're going to do for most of this lesson is look at a few more angles and see if we can start looking for patterns. We already talked about slope angles, we talked about slope triangles, and we talked about slope ratios. So now let's see if we can try to see these patterns that are going to connect everything together. Um, what will you need today? You're going to need this graphic organizer that is again on the back table. Um, you won't need it now, you need it towards the second half of the class. Um, and you also need the homework, which I'll give to you eventually at the end of the class and the classwork. So first example, we just went over the do now and I have a copy of it um, on the top left over here. But what do you know about this triangle? Um, how does this relate to other triangles that you have seen before and how can we solve for x? Now if you remember correctly, I did tell you that slope I'm going to write this right here, actually. Slope ratios are always going to be consistent. And what I mean by that is that they're always going to be um, the same. If you have a triangle with sharing the hypotenuse, with the hypotenuses on the same line, you're always going to have the same thing. Now, let's take a closer look at this problem from the do now. Let me move everything else over here. Um, so I have, again, the slope angle. In this case, is 11 degrees. I have the change in y, which I don't know. In this case, it's just y. And I have the change in x, which is 20. So change in y over change in x. Oops, sorry, that's wrong color. Equals y over 20, which equals 1 over 5 in this case. Um, again, this is from the now because remember, you know, this over this, because it is consistent, has to be the same thing as this over this. It's kind of like if we're looking for similarity. So using this for the do now, we were able to know that y, 5y equals 20, or y equals 4. Now you probably already know how we're going to do this second problem over here, but it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing. So I know that because this is 11 degrees, and this is a right angle, the slope ratio in this case is also going to be 1 over 5. Um, and I know that this is my change in x, this is my change in y. So in this case, 1 over 5 would equal 50. Let me use the appropriate color. 50 over what number? Already guessed it, x. From there, you can keep going. I like to use this method just because it helps kind of clear things out for me but again remember if you're going to use this make sure you know what it means how to use it so x equals what's 5 times 50 it's 250 and that is my final answer now for this example we're going to get a little bit more into it so what do you know about this triangle and how does it relate to the triangles you have seen use any information you have to solve for y now let me give you a hint do you see how I literally just tapped on the old triangle right there? Um, give you a few seconds to kind of think about that. When we're talking about the 11 degree, our slope ratio was 1 over 5, which is right here. So I'm going to say that for... 11 degrees, my slope ratio was change in y over change in x equals 1 over 5. Hmm, so let's think about it a little bit more. In this case, I have 22 degrees. So, again, I'm going really slow because I want to see if you can predict this. Really, really slow. Um, so, how can I figure out what my change is here? Now, you probably already guessed it, but this distance is the same as that. So, what this means is that in this case, your change in y is going to double. And again, this isn't this isn't a proof that we've gone over yet, but just letting you know, this is how you figure it out. So, for 22 degrees, if I went from 11 to 22. Well, then my slope ratio is also going to double. What's 1 over 5 times 2 over 5? Probably already guessed it. It's going to be 2 over 5. 
So I just generalize it. I know that my slope ratio is always for 22 degrees is always, always, always going to be 2 over 5. Now that I know that, let's set up an equation. My slope ratio, 2 over 5, is always going to be equal to change in y over change in x. In this case, change in y is just y. We don't know it. Change in x is 50. And you could go ahead, keep going, and you will get something along the lines of... Actually, let me just do it for you. Do, 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 let me move it up. You get something like 100 equals 5y and y equals 20. Now, if that doesn't make sense, I'll walk around and help you for a little bit. But again, what I, the process that I just did right now is if my slope angle doubles, then so does my general slope ratio. So now that I kind of pull this part aside, now I can do this part over here. Because I know that this triangle was 22 degrees, then the slope ratio must be 2 over 5. And in this case, 2 over 5 equals y over 50. Now go ahead and try the classwork. Um, some of the classwork will be online, so go ahead and look at it. And if you have any questions, again, I will be walking around to so not freak out. Keep watching the video. Keep watching some of the other uh, hints that I have online. And then let me know if you have any questions.